Continuing on with the multi-step equation worksheet, number eight, we have p minus four equal to negative nine plus p. I'm going to add a four to both sides, and I'm going to take away a p from both sides. p minus p is zero, negative four plus four is zero, negative nine plus four is a negative five, p minus p is zero, so we have zero equal to negative five. We know that that's not possible. So for number eight, we have no solution. And you can see from the start, thinking logically, if you're taking away four from this value P, it's never going to equal having a P and then taking away nine from that. Because taking away four, you're taking away a less value than if you're taking away nine. On to number nine, we have negative eight equals negative x plus four. So saying negative x plus four is almost as if we're multiplying x plus four by a negative one. So we're going to divide it by negative one at the start. Negative eight divided by negative one is a positive eight. A negative one divided by negative one is a positive one and one times x plus four is x plus four. Then we can subtract four from both sides to get that four is equal to x. And number 10, we're starting by dividing by a negative four. 12 divided by negative four is negative three, and we'll be left with negative six x minus three. So we're going to add a three to both sides to get that zero is equal to negative six x. And when we divide by a negative six, we're going to get that zero is equal to x because zero divided by any number is zero. Number 11, 14 equals negative p minus eight. So again, we're going to divide by that negative one. 14 divided by negative 1 is a negative 14, and a negative p minus 8 divided by negative 1 is a positive p minus 8. Then we're going to add 8 to both sides. Negative 14 plus 8 is going to be a negative 6, and that is going to be equal to our variable p. So negative 6 is the answer for number 11. In number 12, again, we have a negative outside of the parentheses. So this is simply going to be dividing by negative one. Negative seven minus four x divided by a negative one is going to be a positive seven minus four x. And that's going to be equal to a nine divided by a negative one, which is a negative nine. Then we're going to subtract by seven from both sides to have a zero minus four x equals a negative 16. Since we're subtracting 4x from 0, we can say that negative 4x is equal to negative 16. Then we're going to divide by negative 4. When we divide by negative 4, we're going to get that x is equal to negative 16 divided by negative 4, which is a positive 4. So x is equal to a positive 4. Number 13. Negative 18 minus 6k equals 6 times the quantity 1 plus 3k. Now there's a couple of different ways to, to do this. Again, since they're multi-step equations, there's not necessarily one way. So we can start by distributing this 6. Or since 6 goes into 6k evenly and negative 18 evenly, I'm going to start by dividing by 6. When I divide both sides by 6, I'm left with one plus three K on the right. On the left, I have negative 18 divided by six, which is a negative three, minus six K divided by six, which is K. Now in the next step, I'm going to add a K to both sides. And I'm also going to subtract a one from both sides. So that this will equal zero and this will equal zero. Then I'll be left with only whole numbers on the left and some coefficient with k on the right. Let's solve for that. Negative three 
minus 1 gives us a negative 4, and that's equal to 3k plus k, which is 4k. Divide by 4 on both sides. Negative 4 divided by 4 is a negative 1. 4k divided by 4 is just k. So negative 1 is equal to k. This will be the last problem in this video, and then in the next video, we'll go ahead and complete the worksheet. So 5n plus 34 equals negative 2 times 1 minus 7n. I'm going to need to start by distributing this negative 2. That's because 34 is divisible by negative 2, but 5n is not, since this is an odd number. So if I were to divide by negative 2 first, I would get a fraction on this side. But I know that I won't have to deal with fractions if I go ahead and distribute the negative 2 first. So I'm going to do that. So we'll have 5n plus 34 equals negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 7n is going to be a negative 14n. And since this is subtracted, it's going to be adding a positive 14n. Now I'm going to subtract 5n from both sides. When I subtract 5n, this will become 0. And I want this to also become 0. And in order to do that, I'm going to add 2 to each side. So adding 2 to both sides as well, I'm going to have 34 plus 2, which is 36, since this will be 0. Negative 2 plus 2 will also be 0. 14n minus 5n is going to leave me with 9n. Then all I have to do is divide by 9 to get that 4 is equal to n. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. By doing that and also leaving comments, it gives me a feedback on how my videos are going. That way I know which videos that I need to do more of, which ones I need to go in depth on more, and what I can go ahead and skip over or not do in great of detail as I would other topics. So go ahead, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe.